Good day, everyone. Good day, my viewers out there, my friends and family. Good morning to you all. I really appreciate everyone of us that has been there for me. I really thank you for the likes, the share, the comments, the contribution and suggestions towards the last videos. I really appreciate you and as you encourage me in all your doings. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus name. Thank you so much. I'll be having a little series to catch up with you all for the few weeks and which is talking about love, relationships, sex, marriages, children and many other things concerning you and all this is just based in one topic called love and I believe as many as possible those topics is going to be beneficial to those that are single in a relationship married and many others that you just want to learn you're going to learn it from this topic I will be speaking briefly on the things you should expect and things you shouldn't expect when you are in a relationship or marriage yeah we make some predictions but things might not work out the way we plan it before getting you finally have to start on a longer short-term relationship which might either lead to marriage or end up alongside which all depends on God and destiny yeah so let's just come along flow along and I believe you're going to enjoy this topic so so I'll be speaking on few things that we should know before getting into a relationship and if you are in a relationship or marriage and it's happening right now you should know it's a normal thing for you to experience yeah so first and foremost i just want you to know that whatever you're experiencing at the moment it shouldn't be a thing of disappointment not at all yeah so the first thing i'll be talking about is that you get ready to sacrifice you need to get ready to sacrifice sacrifice your privacy sacrifice your past yeah you need to share your past with your partner even if not all but certainly 90% of your past should be known by your partner yeah get ready to live some attitudes it might be a good attitude it might be a bad attitude yeah and after living that you learn to embrace new attitudes yeah your partner might just want a kind of attitude from you you just have to blend it up by learning something new from yourselves i guess it happened to some people right now in their relationship and even in their marriages they have some new characters yeah it's a normal thing and also get ready you need to know you will be comfortable or on comfortable wow mm -hmm. you can't have it all it's definitely not a hundred percent comfortable there are some times you just have to sacrifice your comfort zone for your partner so just get ready for that and also get ready to lose some friends your partner might not want some particular set of friends because of one or two reasons he or she might see but get ready to lose them and also get ready to make new friends because they will definitely be a suggestion so it's a normal thing to make new friends and lose your friends when you're in a relationship when you go into a relationship and when you are married yeah so and also the sacrifice again you're going to make you might change your meals someone might love eating rice 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 and your partner loves eating noodles semo and all that and you love eating together 
and you start finding yourself trying to share his meal let's eat together let's eat together gradually before you know you might even lose the appetite for that your particular best meal so such thing happens when you are in a relationship how so another sacrifice you're going to make if you want to make a good wife or a good husband a good fierce or fiancé a good boyfriend or a good girlfriend you will learn to stop being extravagant you don't have to spend all the time no it's not all the time it all goes rosy it's not all the time it all goes sweet it's not all the time you want to wear designers there are some things we come first before your own extravagant life so when you are in a relationship and you know where you are, where you are heading to you will stop your extravagant life and you will minimize it even if the cash is flowing the cash will definitely have a particular plans if you have the money in excess you will not just want to flaunt it anyhow but you will always have plans yeah your extravagant life is going to either stop or minimize yeah it's a normal thing and also those that are so prone to social media damn it's time you have to start limiting that aspect i used to love Pressing my phone, or pressing my phone on social media before I got married. When cooking, I'm there. In the toilet, I'm there. Doing something else, I'm there. But these days, it's not funny. Sometimes I don't even know where I drop my phone. I keep looking for my phone. Where's my phone? It's ringing. Why? Because things has changed. The social media life, it's no more freaking. But it's a normal thing you are there, but you don't get freaked about it anymore. That is it. And number two, all those I t- talked about are just all about sacrifice. Number two, you no longer have a selfish life. When you are in love with somebody, your partner needs and his wants will be one of the important things you think of. You don't think of you alone. This time you think of us. Anything you want to do, us. Anything you want to plan, us. So, as you can see, if you are in it already, that you don't think for yourself all alone, and you're just thinking of yourself, your partner, you should know it's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. So you that are going in there, or you are there, that's a normal thing you should expect. And also, expect doubt you both will doubt each other no matter how you love each other something must come up that will create doubt you there are so many things that will be running through your mind mind you there is no perfect man no woman yeah you can only get at least 50 percent of the qualities of the kind of man you want and above so every relationship has its up and down sometimes you even question your relationship or your marriages why did i go alongside with this partner i'm even regretting it sometimes such what comes out is a normal thing but the ability for you to handle it makes you matured mm-hmm sometimes you even go crazy over each other but maturity can help in holding your doubts also number four get ready to be hot you must get hot your partner can't just be 100 percent cool with you there'll be something there that will make you hot being in love is a wonderful thing it's a wonderful feeling, but it also comes with disappointment, it comes with pains, and it comes with worries. There are times that you set your mind and your relationship on things that you just end up getting hot. Mind you, it's a normal thing, and it's a learning process for those who are ready to learn. Yeah.
Also, get ready and set to share your emotions with your partner. This time, it's not just all about you. You don't keep everything to yourself anymore. You just want someone who you could just fall in his hands or in her hands and express yourself. Sorry, I don't know. So your emotions has to be shared with your partner and also you will end up depending on someone emotionally you always is always there or she's always the years my show that you can lean on me yeah it's what you should expect in your relationship and it is what does happens to so many of us right there we just lean on our man, on our woman emotionally. We can't just control it all alone. Yeah. But mind you, don't wholly, totally depend on your partner emotionally because it might fail. Yeah. You need to learn to depend also on yourself emotionally and also another thing you should know it love is being built and it takes time being in a relationship is one thing and falling in love is another thing many people say I can't marry who I don't know no the principle of love is you love you learn to love who you are with because it is in the process of time love grows so I guess I'll be pointing more on that in our next topic and also another thing you should expect or not expect in the relationship is that you learn to trust some never expected to trust anyone some will say I can't trust anybody in your relationship so get ready to trust you might not trust anyone but you need to trust your partner you and trusting your love means you need to trust him in everything yeah so though trust is difficult to give and very easy to lose but in relationship you need to trust if you don't what's the point so I guess this little point should prepare your mind on what you should expect going in a relationship or what you are experiencing now that you never expected. It's a normal thing. You just have to learn to adjust and flow alongside with it. Yeah. So in my next topic, how we'll be speaking fully on love this is just an introductory part of it the things we should expect when we are falling in love thanks um don't forget to like to share to comment on this video and as you do so may the lord bless you thank you and god bless love you